seems we've enemies in our midst. This should be of use. Oil my equipment. Well, I've a chance. How will we fight? We still try to not be here. Well met. I've weapons, truth be told. I'm of half a mind to pack up and leave. What with the volcano? No, growing more active of late as well.
always a pleasure. I cannot wait to put this new equipment to use. Let us hope it is not mere frippery. You're no soldier, are you? I'd not recommend camping. You'll awake neath a blanket of ash. I can give you a roof over your head at least.
Always a pleasure. It seems we already possess what's required of us. Our road was a long one, but here we are at last. Well now, if it ain't the current arisen, fair in all right. Have you come for a dip in the hot spring? Or mayhap to speak with me? Aye. Haven't the foggiest? Well, met, sir. well now, have you come for a dip in the hot spring? Or oh, I? That's the stuff. Thanks for this, cuz. Yeah, too kind. Ah, warms you right up, it does. You're welcome to bring me more of this whenever you like. Suppose you deserve aught for your trouble. Here you are, cuz. A soft boiled egg, specially prepared right here in the hot spring. Well, now, if it ain't the current arisen, fair in all right. Have you come for a dip in the hot spring? Or mayhap to speak with me? <laughs> Brilliant. That's kind of ye. I was just craving some more of this. But what are you hoping for, cuz? Some sort of boon? Suppose I could oblige a fellow arisen. What? Hadn't you noticed? That's a bit embarrassing, eh? I'm a former arisen. Mine, one who couldn't fell his dragon. And if there's aught more shameful than that, I've yet to hear of it. In my case, it all came down to a lack of skill. Mayhap I could fell such a beast now, but my dragon's long gone. Brings a tear to your eye, don't it? But don't cry for me, cuz. Just know that you've got my full support. I'll be glad to see ye succeed where I once failed. Only, don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. Bring your dragon low, and taste glory eternal. Just remember, I've got something for you, cuz. Here you are. Reckon you'll make good use of it. Care to join me for a glug or free, cuz? Damn near brings a tear to my eye. This is for you, cuz.
We've arrived well enough. Where to next? Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? If you've anything edible, I'll gladly lessen your burden. Ho there. How have you fared? M might I beg a favor of you? And here I thought, well, never mind. What are you up to? Welcome to the Star Drop. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Wonderful. Welcome. Welcome to the Star Drop. Kind of you. There is 
much we are to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. All shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, tis best you do so before we depart. Very well. The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so your majesty would do well to get a good night's rest. your will. Could it be that the gods sway? We must quit this place, your majesty. I fear our plans may fall to naught. Let us return to the tavern. False sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the god's way mentioned in that letter. Perchance it is a tool that grants power akin to that of the true arisen. It would do much to explain the events that we have beheld afore now. Alas, unless we find some way to unmake this God's way's power, proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Allow me to speak to the agent we captured some days past. Perchance he knows aught of use. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this God's way? I suppose it is pointless to ponder. Let us await the results of Captain Brad's investigation. It is no great shock to me. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. Oh, 
Open your eyes, everyone. Tis dark out, but our day begins. Step lively. Journey by starlight shall make for a nice change of pace. Shall we get underway? much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your map if the information we pry from the agent is to be believed there is a place in Batal devoted to the study of arts most queer I believe it is worthy of investigation should fortune smile upon us your majesty may even discover some method of undoing the godsway's hold over the pawns yet official dealings to experiment in Batal are suspended and tis no simple matter to gain passage through the latter's fortress. Fortunately for us, however, the agent was hiding this on his person. I bid you take it. Tis an entry permit, allowing passage through Batal's fortress. It even bears the crest of the Batali Palace. It must have been commissioned by someone with great influence. I doubt any would dare impede your passage with such an item in your possession. There is one other thing, Your Majesty. With the permit came information I found most intriguing. An oracle who once served in the Vermondian court now resides in Batal. This oracle foretold the coming of the Arisen and was banished from the kingdom when her prophecy displeased the Queen Regent. Indeed, twas by this same oracle's power that the agent in question came to know of your majesty's whereabouts. The Oracle knows much of the Arisen. Should you make her acquaintance, she may be able to offer you aid during your infiltration. Perhaps a journey to Batal will aid us in unraveling the secrets of the God's way. I can guide you there, if you wish. A guide is most welcome. You the Arisen? I've been looking for you. Sven wants to meet with you. Says he'll be waiting in his quarters. It's clear you're not interested in arriving at our destination, so I'll hold off on guiding us there for now. The Arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. Go on, have a look. Interested in my wares? Pleasure doing business with No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch, in my case. Gathering materials makes for dull. So what'll it be? Not to twist your arm. Well, you needn't decide this very moment.
Have no fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. It is not our place to hurry the Arisen. Savory I heard from Captain Brant that you planned to make for Batal in order to continue your investigation. As for me, I've been looking into my mother's movements since last we met, and I happen upon this. It is a letter she discarded, only half written. It seems to be addressed to someone called Phasus. I passed an eye over it, though I failed to grasp its meaning, or, or what compelled her to throw it away. Here, I thought it best that you have it. Mayhap you could glean aught from it that I could not. And if you do, would you be so kind as to share it with me? That is only if you've the time to spare. I am in no position to make demands, of course.
monsters range nearer than ere they dared before. I must ask you to leave this place at once. Ah, good, you return. I find myself on edge when you stray from my line of sight. Just follow me. Master, do bear in mind that a fairy stone can shorten a long day's journey into a single instant. There's no great shock to me. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. I'll gather this. It might be of use. I've got wares of every ilk. Hope to see you again ere long. Travelling by ox cart was a welcome change. Mayhap we can employ a cart for our next journey. What hurt is, I've not... Thank you. 
I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? A curative ought to do the trick. Merchant, eh? Have you an entry permit? Hold a moment. That cart has priority. Lord Phasus is come! Open the gates! Seek to enter Batal, I presume? I'll have to check your permit. Go on through. A group of bandits has been terrorizing the roads of late, targeting our ox carts and the cargo they carry. They call themselves the Coral Snakes, and they are no common thieves. They are organized and deadly efficient. And worse still, they are without scruples. They have been killing and stealing in equal measure. Devils, the lot of them. What say you? Would you lend your aid in catching them? Many thanks, sir. I should be glad to know someone is doing aught to help us. You all begin by scouring for their hideout. It must be somewhere near the highway. For that it may have you could learn aught by speaking with some survivors of the raids. Many of our citizens view pawns as bringers of calamity, and hatred for their ilk is common here in Bakbatar. Yet so boundless is Empress Nadinia's mercy, that even lowly pawns may benefit from it. It was she who decreed that no pawn may be forced into unpaid servitude, or subjected to acts of violence. Oh, how magnanimous her heart! How generous her spirit! All pawns ought to bow before Her Majesty's peerless grace. Taking any passengers just now, sir. Follow me.
many thanks. I'm still very hungry, so if you've any more food to spare, spare some charity for the poor. Doing, huh? You keep your hands off him. Don't go thinking you can treat the poor however you like just because you're better off. Uh, calm down, Hugo. You've got it all wrong. This kind sir has been good enough to share some food with me. I've the both of you to thank for my good health and my full belly. Is that right? I suppose I owe you an apology then, cuz. In my defence, one can't be too careful. There's a child snatching scoundrel around nearly every corner in these parts. The name's Hugo, by the way. I'm a helper of sorts to the poor Olivia. Ain't many folk willing to offer that sort of kindness. Even just one more's a glad sight, let me tell you. So pay me no mind. And I'm sorry for before. If you're here to help, I'll not say another word against you. Many. Many thanks, sir. Lucky I am to have the two of you looking out for me. You're having trouble keeping up? No matter. I shall wait for you, as long as it takes. Could you come over here? Hmm. There's been more trouble, as if we needed it. Seems they've slept past this checkpoint and gone right into Batal. Well, they... If someone doesn't put a stop to them anon, we'll all be sorry. A city can't function without a steady supply of goods, and fewer and fewer carts are making the journey. They say you should be thankful for your life, but simply being alive isn't the same as living, eh? The trouble happened due south of here. It will be those coral snakes again. I'm sure of it. And here I thought I was leading the way. But I suppose your whims take precedence. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. These faces have grown mightily familiar. Our combined might is a force to be reckoned with. I say, we forge on together for as long as we may. So, after breaking free of the chains of slavery that once bound you to this land, you return of your own volition. This is good. I am relieved to see that you are fulfilling your charge. Now, it would be advantageous for you and your queen to visit the Rockmaster's Borough in Black Batal. Methinks it is where you will find that which you see. Farewell. Right, just follow me. allow any further harm to come to you.
to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? Follow me. This way, if you please, Master. Don't be unwelcome to an ally. We fight to arms. It's easily done. Would that such tranquility could last? I suppose it's so. And I take it. Mastered that attack, we would be invincible. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Christian gets the worm, as they say.
Let me get that. I could lead you to a nearby campsite, if you'd like. I learned of its location in another world. 